Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss even and odd function. This is a very important lecture to solve Fourier series problem. The concept of even and odd function we use to solve the Fourier series problem, and using this concept, we can solve the Fourier series problem very easily. But the sometimes we may face the problem to test whether function is even or odd. So this lecture will clear your concept. Also, I will tell you some interesting tricks. So without waste time, we start our today's lecture. Here, what is the even function? If we have given the function f of x, and if we replace the x by minus x, then the value of that function is equals to the value of our actual function. That is, a f of minus x is equals to f of x. Then, f of x is even function. But if we replace x by minus x, and we get the minus of f of x, then we can say, then the f of x is odd function. Now we discuss some example so that this definition will be clear. Suppose we have given the function f of x is equals to x, or we take x cube. So f of x equals to f cube. If we replace x by minus x, now here f of minus x is equals to minus x cube. Here minus x cube is a value is minus x cube. Because we know that minus raised to the power three is a minus, so minus x cube, and x cube is nothing but the actual function. So here minus f of x. Here x cube is our f of x. So therefore, f of minus x is equals to f of x. So this is the condition for odd function. If our function satisfying this condition, then we can say f of x is a odd function. That means this f of x is equals to x cube is odd function. Now we take another example. Suppose f of x equals to x raised to the power four. Now we replace x by minus x. Then we get f of minus x is equals to minus x raised to the power four. And we know that minus one raised to the power four is plus one because any odd number raised to the power even. Then it is a plus, so it is a x raised to the power four. So x raised to the power four is nothing but the f of x. So here it is a f of x. That means when we replace x by minus x, then the value of f of minus x is equals to the f of x. If this condition is hold, then we can say our function is a even function. So this is x raised to the power four is a even function. So here. Whenever we have given the function contain x raised to the power odd term, so then this function is a odd function. And whenever the x raised to the power even, then it is a even function. So from this two example, it, we get the idea that is f of x is equals to x raised to the power n is even if n is even. And it is a odd if n is odd. So just we have to check the power of x. If the power of x is even, then it is our even function. If the power of x is odd, then it is a odd function. This is the concept for x raised to the power n. What about the trigonometric function? So for trigonometric function, here if we take f of x is equal to Sin x, f of x equals to sin x. Now again replace x by minus x. Then we get f of minus x is equals to sin of minus x, and it is a minus sin x. That means sin x is our actual function f of x. So here instead of sin x, if we write the f of x, then it is a f of x and this outside minus so f of minus x is equals to minus f of x that means this sine function is a odd function so if we take the function f of x is equals to cos x and replace a x by 
minus x then we get f of minus x is equals to cos of minus x but we know that cos of minus x is a cos x that means f of minus x is equals to f of x so here this cos is a even function so we can say f of x is equals to cos x is even function so here f of x is equals to sin x then f is odd function and if f of x is cos x then f is even function so in trigonometry sin is odd function and cos is a even function now this odd and even actually we are discussing odd corresponding to the minus sign and even for the positive so when we get this minus then we can say it is a odd function whenever we get the plus that means we get we are saying this is a even function so f of minus x equals to f of x so it is our even and f of minus x is equals to minus f of x then we can say it is a odd so using this concept we discuss some product rule about the even and odd function if we take the product of two even function so even that is related to the plus symbol so here plus into plus always get the plus so that means it is again a even now if we take even into odd so odd is denoted the negative so plus into minus so we get the minus that means we get the odd term we are saying the negative for odd because f of minus x we get the value minus f of x that's why i am saying the negative corresponding to the odd so if the function is even that means we get the minus f of x is equals to f of x that means outside we are not getting any negative sign but in odd function we get the negative that's why i am saying for odd is the negative and for even it is a positive this will help you to remember this rule otherwise if we are going with the numbers then here the even number 2 into 4 we get the 8 that is a even and here 2 into 3 we get the 6 and it is again a even so with the number it is not possible to remember this rule and this rule is uh, for the functions not for the numbers the so product of even into odd we get the even but function even function into odd function is we get the odd functions now the next is odd into odd and we know that negative into negative is positive that means odd function into odd function always we get the even function and the next is if we take odd into even so it is again a odd these are very important rule we will use this rule at the time of solving four year problem now we discuss this type of important example now check whether this function is even or odd so here x the power of x is 1 that means simply x if we take simply f of x equals to x so we know that the power of x is 1 and whenever the power of x is odd so we can say it is a odd function but wait this condition is not true for this term here the function value is not simply x it is a x when interval is minus pi less than x less than 0 and it is a minus x when 0 less than x less than pi that means the value of function is not simply x so here this, this function is not our odd function this is a even function now how to check whether it is a even or odd we just have to simple use the definition of even function that is f of minus x is equals to f of x then we can say f of x is even function now here our actual function f of x is x for minus pi less than x less than 0 and it is a minus x 0 less than x less than pi now same way here we have to replace x by minus x so here f of minus x is equals to x replaced by minus x so it is a minus x 
minus pi less than minus x less than 0 and here x replaced by minus x so it is a x 0 less than minus x less than pi and we know that when we are saying 4 is less than 5 and if we multiply by minus sign then minus 4 is greater than minus 5 that means whenever we multiply by minus sign then this inequality will change if it is a less than then we get the greater than if it is a greater than we then we will get the less than so when we multiply by minus sign then this inequality is change now here the answer of our function is minus x f of minus x is equals to first answer is minus x now in this interval if we multiply by minus sign then it is a pi greater than x greater than 0 because when we multiply by minus sign then this inequality will change so we get the plus pi greater than x greater than 0 now in the next term here next value of function is x again here multiply by minus so when we multiply by minus then this inequality again change so here 0 greater than x greater than minus pi now if we rewrite this function here interval wise value is in this interval value of function is x and here 0 less than x less than pi in this interval value of function is minus x it is a f of minus x if we compare this function with our actual function now see here in the interval minus pi to 0 value of function is x and in the interval minus pi to 0 value of function f of minus x is x and here 0 to pi minus x and here 0 to pi minus x that means f of minus x is equal to f of x so this imply f is even function now i will tell you the short trick we know that f of x equals to x raised to e power n if n is odd then our function is a odd function so here x raised to e power 1 x raised to e power 3 x raised to e power 5 and so on these are the examples of odd function in trigonometric function sin x is a odd function similarly if f of x equals to x raised to e power n if n is even then this function is a even function for example x raised to e power 4 x raised to e power 2 x raised to e power 6 and so on if the power of x is even then this function is a even function and in trigonometric function cos x is a even function these are but this concept is very simple most of the time we have given the function which is break into two parts now here f of x is equals to if we have given the function x minus pi less than x less than 0 minus x 0 less than x less than pi here firstly we have to check this term if it contain x minus x that means the same function first part and second part both function are same just there is a difference between the sign it is first quantity is positive second is a negative maybe first is negative second is positive function is same but the sign is different and here the interval is minus pi to 0 0 to pi or it is a minus a to 0 0 to a then for this type of function if our f of x here x is odd then this function is even function that means here whenever our function is divided into two part and this single part is a odd function we know that x raised to e power 1 is a odd function so here when we divide this into the two parts like this then it is our even function same rule we are used for sine and cos function if simply x is odd function but if we are dividing this function into two parts then this function is a even function similar example if we take f of x equals to here sin x in the interval minus a less than x less than 0 and it is a minus sin x 0 less than x less than a so we know that sin x is a odd function but this function we are f of x we have divided into two parts it contain plus sin x minus sin x and this type of interval so actually sin x is a odd function but when we are dividing the function into two parts then it is our even function
function the same rule is applicable for e1 function also if you write f of x equals to first we take minus x square in the interval minus a less than x less than 0 and it is a x square for 0 less than x less than a now see here our function is divided into two parts first contain negative sign and second is a positive that means the sign is different but the function is same and this interval is minus pi to 0 0 to a so here actually x square is a even function but because of dividing this function into two parts this is our odd function now we take one more example suppose f of x equals to cos x for minus pi less than x less than 0 and it is a minus cos x 0 less than x less than pi and here we know that cos is a even function but because of divided in two parts it is again a odd function now we discuss the most important example the last example is if the f of x equals to k k is a constant so whenever we have given the constant function it may contain the 5 4 6 7 8 any term so if f of x equals to k then it is always a even function because if we replace x by minus x then still it is a k because right side contains simply k so x replaced by minus x then right side remains same so it is nothing but the f of x that means f of minus x equals to f of x so this function is a even function so using this term we can say if the f of x equals to k for minus a less than x less than 0 and it is a minus k for 0 less than x less than a then this is our odd function because simply k is our even function and if we divide into two parts then the rule is changed and here we get the odd function. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe.